Hi, I thought I'd just share a quick and very accurate way of drawing a grid in blue beam so you can use it to overlay other areas and uh, I want to use this for overlaying a uh, roof layout so I can see 600 by um, 600 centers for my rafters my um, noggins to my ceiling joists etc you might want to use do something bigger like a five meter by five meter or ten meter by ten meter grid to overlay our site plans so you can do some kind of field work etc could be used for all sorts of different things but uh, I just thought I'd show you a way so you get all your centers spot on instead of copying lines and then trying to move them and get into the right position so I just thought I'd share this and hopefully you'll find it useful so I'm going to start off by using tools sketch to scale this is a, a an a3 piece of paper scale 1 to 50 so i want to draw a rectangle on it and i know that on my page i can get a um a rectangle that is one nine ooh. it's not wanting to work tools sketch to scale rectangle 19800 by 13800 and that's gonna fill up as much of the page as possible and then i get my lines which will snap to that rectangle one top one bottom one down this side i can quickly select my rectangle because i don't need that anymore but in the last line now i know coming across this way for 600 centers i need 32 dividing sections here so let's draw a couple of these on there's four and what we just do to make this a bit quicker is go shift shift o so we can select these and then what we do is control and shift and just drag them across to copy them so eight twelve six ten Twenty-eight, thirty-two. Now down this way, I'm going to need twenty-two of them. So I'm going to draw another line. Okay, let's do five of those. Shift O again, draw a nice circle to make sure they're all included. Almost a circle anyway. Um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just select the last couple of those again. And then all we need to do now is shift O. I'm going to select all of these ones, got them all selected, and then alignment. And I want to distribute them horizontally. And come over here, shift O again. Try and make sure I get all of these included. So I might come right down to the bottom one. I am going to go back up because sometimes it misses them if you don't get them all included on a straight line. So that appears to have got them all included. Right click, alignment. 
Ooh, alignment, vertical. That's my grid. Let's just double check. Six hundred. We don't need that. Coming down. Any other one? Six hundred. That's all spot on. I'm going to go Control A. That's not working. Control A. I want these to kind of blend into the background, so I'm going to change the color slightly and the line thickness. And then I'm going to do Control G. No, it's not liking me recording the screen and doing this at the same time. So group. And I can then just call this grid. 600 by 600 millimeters save it and then i can just add it to my tool chest as necessary and then i've always got that there that i can just drag out over onto a roof layout and um i can then work to this i can i can snap to it and um for example if i wanted to put a ridge on here it's obviously snapping to it There you go, 4.8 meters long. I could use that if I wanted to. So um, that's it. Hope you uh, found it useful.